It's time we answer a question on your stock in a little segment we like to call Your Stock, Our Take. Buy, sell, or hold. Yes. So this came in from Kevin via Facebook and he says, you know, hoping to get RHT or Relic Health on the TSXV reviewed. It was a past dog of the week back in 2018. Uh, So yeah, Relic Health Technologies Inc. RHT on the TSX Venture currently trading at a price of 50 cents and has a market cap of about $97 million. So the company is a telemedicine provider that develops virtual care solutions for the healthcare market. It offers its iUgo Care Platform, a software as a solution that allows patients to receive care in the home. So like I said, we did last review Relic in late 2018 as a dog of the week after it suffered a severe decline of over 85% over the course of that year. And the reason for the decline, Ryan pointed out, was that the company was putting up severe losses on some of the contracts that it had recently secured, losing upward of $3.9 million in one of the four quarters that the contracts uh, produced, produced revenue in. Um, And remember, at this time, the business was completely contract driven. So they didn't have any SaaS revenue coming in. So where are we now? Beginning in 2021, uh, once the company switched from primarily a hardware business to a software uh, as a service model, the company began posting some consistent revenue growth quarter over quarter, now with trailing sales of about 10.5 million, but still a trailing net loss of about 9.4 million. I will say, though, that its most recent quarter, Q3 of 2022, the business lost just $800,000. That is uh, in comparison to the previous seven quarters where all of the net losses were uh, well above $2 million. Um, Looking forward now, revenue should continue to grow considering the company has been signing new contracts. And with about 42% of revenue now coming in from services, which is recurring, the company should, in theory, over the long run, have an easier time breaking into consistent profitability than compared to back in 2018 when we covered it, where it was very, very contract driven. Now, right right now, the company has a healthy balance sheet with over 600K in net cash, but ultimately, shareholders have been taking the brunt of the net losses through dilution kind of stemming back to our previous conversation, now where the company has over 189 million shares outstanding. Right now, the company still trades with a trailing price to sales multiple of nine times. And I understand by, you know, quoting that the the internet is going to beat me up because, you know, there will be some revenue growth looking forward due to uh, new contracts. Um, But one thing that I would like to note is, you know, looking at their investor presentation growth forecasts, uh, they wanted to achieve profitability in 2021, which as far as I can tell, they haven't achieved. They're looking to generate $40 million in revenue for the 2022 fiscal year. They just posted their Q3 uh, and right now they're, you know, nowhere close to achieving that. They would have to uh, post, I believe, $33 million in revenue in the Q4 of 2022 to come in line with that. And they also uh, you know, noted that in 2023, they're looking at posting about 65 million uh, in revenue, which you know, I don't believe that they will be able to achieve. I think that these were some lofty targets that were put out there. Um, you know, and yeah, they're kind of a, a shot in the dark almost. So to conclude, the company was losing a lot of money in 2018. Uh, and was very contract driven, which brought the initial stock euphoria built around securing a few contracts all tumbling down, which Ryan covered. The company switched to a SaaS model to get revenue consistency with good growth and more growth uh, looking to come, uh, which is good from those new contracts. However, the company was losing money then and continues to lose money now. Relic does appear to be on better track to potentially break into profitability, but with a trailing price to sales multiple of nine times, currently behind schedule to reach its targets and more dilution likely to come in the next few quarters to keep the lights on, we would essentially stay on the sidelines with this story.